Hello my fantastic friends and coin collectors, it's me Master Temple and today we ain't doing no coin video, we're doing a painting video. These are my paints, paint brushes, palette knife, I use a lot of paint brushes, that becomes evident later in the picture. And uh, here's my palette, range of colours, whites, blues, crimsons, greens, yellows and we mix a a bit of everything together. Now this is the canvas. It's already coated with liquid white. I've done a border and I've masked that border off. Now down at the bottom where the horizon line is I've coated this in a thin coating of greens and blues and crimsons. It looks black but it's uh, it's on there. It's all slick and we're ready to go. So we'll head off into the sky and we'll just drop some uh, some phalo blue up there making little crosses with our paintbrush all over the liquid white crisscrossing from side to side and we're going to leave a little white area in the sky and that's going to be his cloud we're not going to labor too long on this sky today we're going to paint a nice little seaside scape Alright, so we're taking it side to side, just take out the brush strokes, blend everything together. And it's darker at the top than it is towards the horizon. There we go. Now we're going to come in and we're going to put a cloud in, so we're going to put the shadow of the cloud first, so on the tip of the, the one inch brush we've got crimson and we're making small circular strokes and we're just going to drop in what would be the shadow of a cloud and we clean the brush and we get white and we come on the top and we'll put the highlight of the cloud nice white clouds overlooking this, uh, this seaside Keep reloading the brush. If you pick up a bit of blue, which you will do, or a bit of the crimson, wipe the brush on a paper towel and then just, just go on again. Small circular strokes. There we have a base of a cloud. Now with a, cr a, a clean brush, a different brush, it's clean. We're going to blend the two colours together, the purple and the white barely touching the canvas but we're stirring up where the uh, the colors mix and meet and then lightly fluff lightly fluff up in rounded strokes nice big rounded strokes if we pull up straight up it makes this cloud look like it's raining upwards <laughs> And we don't want that, do we? Okay, lightly across. Bring everything together. And in a couple of minutes, we've got a nice sky and a nice big cloud. Blend it all together. Great, I think we're going to work on the seaside. So, with a small brush and a bit of white on the on the brush, we're going to lay out where his major wave is going to be. And I think it's going to be about here. And there we go. Now that might not look like a wave yet, but it soon will. And we're going to put some some more white and it'll mix with the colour underneath the greens, the blues and the crimsons and to give you a bit of an idea that the wave just crashes straight over like so okay we might put some more little waves behind the big major wave plenty of white on the brush There 
There we go. Bobbing on the sea. <laughs> they don't look too much like waves yet. Well, they do if you're at primary school, but... But they'll come alive, I promise you. Here we go. Just keep adding more in. Wherever you think they should be. And towards the horizon, we just lightly sway the brush from side to side in like um, a U shape. Right now, I take with a clean, dry brush, and I'm just grabbing that white colour and I'm taking it towards the wave behind it and I'm making the troughs now, the troughs of the wave you can't really see it but we'll keep coming back and eventually it'll come alive see I'm just giving it a little flick nice little flick I'm not going to kill all that black area between the between the waves Just taking the white from the, the crest of the wave back towards back towards the um, the next wave behind. We'll keep doing that. all the way along and it's picking up the colour underneath the blues and the greens same on the major wave we don't want him left out do we <laughs> and just flick him back flick it back come in with a bit more colour if you want bit more white and we take it back towards the horizon not as distinct but they're still there still there Just keep working on that. A bit more of the light colour, the white. It's got a touch of blue in with it. And we'll just re firm these peaks of the wave up there. Again, we'll just take a little bit of that white colour and we'll take it back, pinch it back. This is uh, this reminds me of the North Sea at Bridlington. Quite choppy. A bit towards the horizon again. That. The waves at the horizon line are, are just little tiny hints of waves. They're not as distinct as what they would be closer to you. You obviously can't see them as well. And we'll come in with a little bit more. The whites, the blues. Just put some shimmers on there. Right near the horizon line. Just keep playing with that till it looks about right. I only have 25 minutes on me, uh, on my memory card, so I get, I've got to rush this, but I'm sure we'll get there. Right, 
So, a bit more of the lighter colour in this trough, just behind the major wave, the white horse, whatever they get called. Bit of highlight here and there. Flick a few little foamy things backwards in the trough. It's looking choppy, isn't it? Okay, let's start thinking about where this wave's going to crash over. So with a little white on the brush, it's a firm, a firm half inch, half inch paint brush, and we're just going to crash a bit of white over. And again, it'll mix with the colours that's underneath there and we'll start forming the crest of the wave just like so alright now I think we ought to work on the eye of the wave which is the bit in there just underneath the just underneath the white uh, crest and I've mixed up some yellow with a bit of white and I'm just going to scrub this in really get tough push it into the fabric and it'll make a nice pale green colour and we really want this to zing and stand out against everything else on the canvas this is the the eye, the cellar the, it draws your attention to this this painting does this part the money shot <laughs> right just keep adding more and more colour in and we can start shaping the wave as well just tinkering a little bit now with a big dry brush you can't see because my hands in way but I'm barely touching the canvas but I'm just softening all the eye of the wave together I'm just softening it all up so it's smooth I've got a bit of white on this brush here and I'm just gonna just put a bit more white in there just to glow it a bit more a bit more of a glow in there and it won't make much, much sense you think oh Dan's really done it now and messed up but it will come alive I promise thee so now we can push that eye back with a bit of shadow now this shadow colour just mixed with a, a little bit of a blue crimson and, and a bit of liquid white and we're just scrubbing in some shadows just like we did with the clouds just let that that brush dance and jiggle all over canvas again because it's water and it's a splash you can't really get it wrong keep pushing so it's like a pale purpley colour so I'm going to take uh, a bit of white here and just take that that black area behind the major waves bothering me so just let's take let's take it out and, and lighten it a little bit so using a little tiny brush It's too dark, so we'll just we'll just blow it off a little bit with a bit of white on the brush, and again it'll mix with the colour that we've already put down. And a 
bit of highlight here and there now the foam highlight for the foam is just white and it'll mix with the blues and the the purples underneath get a bigger brush a bit firmer bristle and we're sidewardly pushing upwards with the brush I don't know if you can see what I, how I'm pushing up jiggling it continuously reloading the brush with white paint as well it, you may pick up some purples you may pick up some blues just keep reloading your brush you may have to wash the brush out once or twice or keep wiping it on a paper towel or an old sock or whatever you've got lying about but you need to keep the brush nice and clean especially when you're working with with white as a highlight put some foam across the top of the wave here and you see as that will push the eye of the wave back into the into the into the picture so with the dry the dry brush just come in here and tease in the shadow just like we did with the cloud teasing the shadow and the the highlight together and it'll make a completely new color paler blue but look at that there we go looking all right already isn't it told you it start to come alive now let's start working on the rest of the wave and because we have more green down here this part of the picture will start to pick up the greens and it'll look a bit more like the sea you might be able to hurt kids fainting in, in garden and the rough and tumble in the taekwondo stuff so they are professionals at times <laughs> okay let's just start working on this eye of the way we can bring that out and down and if you take some of that dirty colour into the eye you, you may need to go back and put some lighter colour back in there down at the base of the wave again think about the wave shape so brush strokes are really important here alright tease some more of that eye like colour from the eye into the main wave itself so we're shaping the back of the wave and you could play forever doing this again I'm against the clock and you could play forever I'm just going to put a bit of more darker high, uh, like a shadow underneath the wave. So with my thin one head brush and some dark blue. Just a bit of shadow underneath that crest. And make the highlight really jump out as well few foam patterns emerging down there and a bit of seaweed that's getting caught in the swell there we go you can put lots and lots and lots of different little little foam patterns and swells and bits of seaweed and everything a bit more shadow underneath the uh, under the wave now let's put a big rock in there something for this wave to hit 
big monstrous rock like you find like you find on the coast this is just dark a really dark brown color that we've made with the blues reds and greens we'll just block this color in with the old palette knife and then we need some highlight on that so with a bit of a lighter colour, so it's the same colour, I just added a bit of white in there. Think how the, how the stones would be shaped if, the, if they'd been hit by these waves for many hundreds of years. They wouldn't look too healthy, would they? another one there this could be coated in some sort of uh, ready seaweed when this dries the stone and the wave will feel you could actually feel the texture as well as see it now for an oil painting it takes around about a week to dry Just going to tease and float some some more highlight colours over there, over this big old stone. Ah, big old brush, got a bit of white colour on. Let's chop off the base of the stone where it's living in the water and make a little uh, reflection. And again we pull down and lightly across like we would do when we were doing the lake. And then with a knife, with a bit of white on the knife, we're just going to cut it in the water line. And we're going to ease that water line up into the to the dark part of the wave, the underside. And then come back with a one head brush and put some some white foam on there. Just dancing up and down on the wave. Oh, that looks it looks pretty rough that sea to me. I wouldn't like to be out there crab fishing. That's it, just keep going backwards and forwards. A bit of splashing down here and a bit of tickling up there. Come in with a bit more highlight colour on the on the horizon line, really tickle that up. Right where the sun's shining and catching a few of those far away waves. You know, you just take a step back and look at your picture, look at your painting and think, I could just try I could just tweak that just a little bit. Don't overplay a picture. If you overplay a picture, you'll end up making mud and it'll not work for you. And there we go. Great. bit more highlight here and there take it back take the wave backs that looks
looks choppy. That looks choppy. A bit of water spilling out of the rocks there. About done now. Should just put my name on it, DCT, down in the corner, and we're done. Now I noticed a little crease as the as the painting was progressing, so I just added another cloud in afterwards. And here I'm taking off the masking tape and that's the finished picture not bad is it 25 minutes worth of work happy days I'll see you all later have a good one take care